Yo, welcome to DST. This is Colin. Hi, I'm Colin. This is our guest, Nick. <laughs> you can't use words? No. You can't talk? No, I'm talking. Anyway. <laughs> right. This week we're going to be talking about our first topic is going to be Tony Romo. Where will he land? Colin, you want to go first? Tony Romo is a bitch ass. Where I think he'll land? Tony Romo is a bitch ass. <clears throat> well, let me just start off by saying... If he goes anywhere besides his Texans, he's setting himself up to fail. I agree with he's, you. He's setting fail. Hey, let me talk. Okay. I'll give you a chance to talk. I said I agree with you. I'll slapping. give you your chance you to talk. Slapping. I'm in the middle of talking. Slapping his wife. Whatever. 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 No, it's not. That's been discontinued. But I think it comes down to either the Texans, the Chiefs, or remain with the Cowboys. And I don't see Alex Smith. I don't see the Chiefs doing Alex Smith like that. So canceled out. Houston Texans, it is. So makes them what, an actual threat. But what's your benefit? What what makes the Texans better than any other? They got the better. I'll let you know. When <laughs> all right, I'll start off. I'll Listen. say what. First of all, they have a great defense. That's so right. even if Tony Romo's struggling, so like, the Chiefs, like he doesn't Broncos. have to come back and necessarily be playing like the MVP to make the Texans great. You know what I mean? Brock I Osweiler, Osweiler, arguably. I think he actually had maybe the worst QBR out of any quarterback in the NFL last year. They still made the playoffs. Let's just mark it up that he was shit. Yeah, he was shit. He yeah. lost a job. He got Savage. traded. He got traded to the Browns. He'll put he it out. That's how bad he was. <laughs> he went to the Browns. Wait, they sent a second round pick with him just to get his yeah. ass out of there. Exactly. Listen, exactly. I'm telling you. Yeah. Right here. Just cause just cause of that move, Oswald going to the Browns, that basically set up the Texans for some cat space. To get Tony Romo. Exactly. He, They're going to get so Tony Romo. Yeah, that's that's what they if, he's going, if he's going anywhere, he's going to the Texans. Yeah. They have a he's solid a number one wide receiver in DeAndre Hopkins. Exactly. Great yeah. defense. Yeah, and a great defense. And they, got, they, got J, they got J.J. Watt and Davion Clowney. Don't forget about the Fuller. Same. He's up and coming. Too. Yeah, and Fuller's Braxton up and too. And Braxton Miller. Braxton Miller. They drafted someone, another wide receiver the year before. Fucking what's his name? I'm not sure. Right they, right now. they have no. I can't think of it. But out of all those teams, honestly, if you want my, know, my honest opinion, there. the Chiefs. Yeah, dude, your phone's recording this stupid shit. <laughs> but the Chiefs would honestly, if Tony oh, Romo went to the Chiefs, I would be more afraid of the Chiefs than I would of the Texans with Tony Romo. Oh yeah. It's just a simple fact that I don't think they're gonna just kick out well, Smith out. The with thing Tony is, Romo. is I, 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 I think the Chiefs, they don't have a better offense than the Texans. But I think their team overall is better. I think the Chiefs, Chiefs have a better defense. I think the Chiefs are just better coaches. The Chiefs, yeah, yeah, they're better. The coach. Chiefs have That's a better thing. system for Tony Romo to be in. Yeah, he's and just better addition all. As a Raiders fan, how as do you a Raiders about that. As a Raiders fan, <laughs> if Tony Romo goes to the Chiefs, I'm gonna be morally pissed. <laughs> now, on the subject of Tony Romo, you think he's gonna fucking come back and be the same player he was with the Cowboys last time he played, or do you think he's gonna come back and yeah. be like you know? I think I think he's still I think he's definitely top ten quarterback in the NFL. Because he's, without a doubt, he's top ten. Yeah. You put I think, top, uh, you can start to argue a bit once you get rid of it. Your head's just on the thing. Dude Daddy, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> on that note, I think we're gonna take a commercial break. <laughs> Let them get control of so. Commercial. You just a head. Get on the topic of Marshawn Lynch now. Are you done with Tony? Are you done with Tony? You don't have much to say. I don't know what else. Come from a Raiders fan. He's, he's a Raiders fan. We were waiting for Marshawn Lynch to ask. I don't, I love like, Raiders. You don't want to start with Tony Romo? You don't write for Marshawn? Really with Tony Romo? Really with Tony Romo? I mean, he got injured multiple times, but he's you can tell just by his interviews and, and shit that he's motivated to play right. again. He loves so he's, the game. He's going to be a good quarterback when he comes back, regardless of what team he goes to, Texas or Chiefs. They both have decent offenses. Yeah. They both have great defenses, and they both have winning teams. DeAndre Hopkins made, what, three, 
four quarterbacks look half decent. I know. I know. Like, <laughs> like, if like Tech, Tony Romo pretty pretty much, there, if the Texans really can make the playoffs with Brock Osweiler as the goddamn quarterback, That's what I'm saying, Tony Romo sad. can lead them to the conference dude, championship. They wouldn't have advanced. Let's be real. I'll be honest. I don't think they would have advanced. No. They wouldn't have even played the Ravens. They wouldn't have played. Card they, get hurt. Yeah, but exactly. nevertheless, they wouldn't have even gotten past oh, the first yeah, round. Exactly. Easily. Dude, Matt, the just, just, just the, fact, the, the fact that What's his face? Connor Cook could score two touchdowns in the goddamn Texans. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. a fucking and they're great defense. Exactly. Yeah. Now, he didn't play a game, start a game before that fucking game. Right. And he's playing his divisional round against the Texans, and yeah. he scored two goddamn touchdowns. Right. He can, it was chance. respectable. Like, I know. You you knew the Raiders weren't winning that no, game. Yeah. It wasn't no, like, I knew as a Raiders right. fan. The Patriots blew the Steelers out worse than the, the Texans beat I, the Raiders in the first round. Yeah. Be honest. I was surprised so, about that. Yeah. I was. That's a whole other subject. Yeah. We don't even. Have to we don't. We don't. We're not even gonna get into Let's it. Jump. Let's get on to Marshawn. Let's jump on to Marshawn Lynch. Beast I, I, I got this Let's, question. No, no. Let Nick's, take, off. Nick's taking the lead with this. He's a fucking Raiders, Raiders fan. That's just... Yeah, no, no, I'm gonna let my... No, I was just gonna ask a question. I wasn't actually okay. gonna say it. So, <laughs> Nick. What's up? First of all, do you think that Marshawn Lynch is still beast mode? Is he still that beast mode that we saw prior to that worst call in Super Bowl history? Is he well, still that same monster? Well, getting into that. Let me, let me just get into that real quick. You're not going to know he's in beast mode until you see him play. Because he could be in shape. He could be doing whatever he says. He could say whatever he wants. You're not going to know that he's good until he plays. We won't know until he plays. But he is a he has shown a body of work that is good enough for the Raiders to take a chance on him. Because right now we need a veteran running back to step in there. We need a running back that's powerful like Latavius Murray was to churn the fucking first down yards. He's nigga. Gone. To churn the first, churn the first down yards. We got yeah. the other two in the backfield catching yeah. balls and shit. I think more than anything. I mean, obviously, I, I think Marshawn Lynch. I think he'll have an impact. I think he's still got it. Yeah. But I think about this, the that there, Raiders right? lineup. They got that young roster. They're a bunch. of... You can tell they're out exactly. there having a good time. Exactly. You had Marshawn Lynch oh, in that lineup. Exactly. Too. That's what it's I'm saying. So they're gonna have exactly. it. their He's, locker room is gonna dude, be so. Marshawn nice. Lynch is the perfect personality for the Oakland Raiders. <laughs> he has the personality <laughs> of a Raider. He's from dude, Oakland. He's from Oakland. Yeah, he yeah. gets some from Skittles. He got to go. Right. He, he, gets some from he is a Raider. He just He's, needs those Skittles. They'll be going. The thing is, that's when it'll be beast mode. The thing is, I hope he comes back. I'm just. I hope he does too. I don't even care what team he goes to. I just not watch my game. He's only. Go I think he's got that. I used to yeah. love Marshawn back in the day when he was on the Bills. He was one of my favorite running backs. So yeah, shout out to Marshawn. I know. He even said, dude, no, he's glad. That's probably the best trade well, that ever happened. Fucking obviously. He, 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 he went from like a, a bottom 10 team to Buffalo, a Super Bowl. Buffalo, listen, just, just location. If I was playing in the NFL, I would I would care about the location. I don't give a shit about the goddamn team. <laughs> we played with the Chargers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Miami Dolphins. Like, like, if you're playing through <laughs> Buffalo, <laughs> your life has got a problem. Right? What, what is there to do? <laughs> your life like, how many road games we got this year? <laughs> where do we go? Where do we go? We're going to LA. We're going to play the Dolphins this year. We're going to play the Dolphins this year. We're going to play the Dolphins this year. We're going to play the Dolphins You guys want to go sledding? There's nothing else to do around here. Right? Just a bunch of snowy. Sorry, people in Buffalo. Um, anyway. Um, yeah. So, that, what do you think, Marshawn? I think if he comes back, it'll be Oakland, like all the yeah, rumors said. But, exactly. I mean, I'm not fully convinced he's going to come back as the running back he was. But even if Marshawn isn't the running back, he still takes the pressure off a young quarterback and young up-and-coming court, exactly. up quarterback in uh, Carr. Yeah. And, I mean, taking the pressure off Carr as good of a season as he had last year with Latavius Murray, who had a solid year. He wasn't a superstar, but... Yeah. Just, people seeing, just people seeing, just people seeing beast mode in the backfield. That's, that's gonna, what I was about to exactly. get into. Like you look at the Vikings last year. Like Adrian Peterson probably made like stat wise no impact, but mm -hmm. I can guarantee you that whole week they the knew same, Adrian same Peterson Brad, was going to be playing Sam Bradford against fucking, them that week. Sam Bradford fucking cried when Adrian yeah, Peterson got hurt. That they motherfucker were, was like, "I got no offensive line. I got Stephon Diggs, and that's they, it. I'm going to fucking die." That teams year. were prepared to play against they Adrian Peterson. Peterson. Sam Bradford until Adrian Peterson. No, well, did they Adrian Peterson? Adrian Peterson got hurt week three. I think they fought Sam game. Bradford after. Uh, <laughs> After Teddy, after Teddy, 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 yeah, Teddy, yeah, he was, he was yeah. so good. Teddy they played good. together for a little bit. 
Yeah, Teddy's not gonna play ever again. Probably not. Which sucks because I like Teddy. No, but seriously. Sam Bradford's a bitch. Uh, that's the, coming from an Eagles fan. Sam the, Bradford's a fucking. Come on, he's just a salty Eagles fan. No, Sam well, Bradford's a bitch. He, I didn't like that move to be. I can, I can, I can divert into the Eagles right now because. Oh God. I, this is really, two on one scenario. And, no, here. in real shit, in real, and real, facts. If this is all facts. As a Raiders fan, at, I don't care about anything else. I'm gonna speak the truth right now. I'm gonna speak. The, I'm gonna holler the truth at you. Listen, that the Alshon Jeffrey acquisition was huge for you. Oh yeah. Because you 100%. got that young quarterback. You got now you got it. Now you got a deep threat, a and, solid number one wide receiver, Smith. and yep. Torrey Smith, and Jordan Matthews. Exactly. Yep. That's, that's a good receiver. That's a solid receiver. He's got to catch the ball, but, but that's but no, no, no. That's no. for another the time. Eagles, the Eagles, the ball. Eagles need to draft the wide receiver. Got the young receiver. Oh, yeah. another one. Another one. No, they need another it for the one. Well, you don't know. It's a one-year deal. They got Aguayu. Maybe, maybe Aguilar. Aguilar. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, they got Aguilar. Shut the fuck up. You can Aguilar, <laughs> Who the man. fuck? I had no idea. Aguilar. You said Aguayu. Aguayu. Yeah, well, Who the doing? fuck is that? <laughs> Anyway, why I use the I mean now 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 you take the spotlight That's off right. of him. Yeah. They He's were forcing about. him to play number one wide receiver, Carson Wentz his rookie season. Like he exactly. give no if Carson Wentz, no time to, if Carson Wentz time performed to that well with poop for wide receiver, he is gonna fucking kick ass with Alshon and Tori Jordan Matthews. Sorry. Did, you I just want to get something he straight had a good about Carson Wentz season. right now. All right. Right. This is what I want to get straight with Carson Wentz. You want to know what, what? the difference between him and Dak Prescott is? Dak Prescott had yeah. a good no. team around him? Okay. Well, yeah, that too. He did. I'll give you that. But the other difference is halfway through the season, when teams started to get a lot of film on both of them, Dak Prescott didn't slow down. Carson Wentz started getting under pressure. Carson Wentz started throwing up the ball deep. Throwing interceptions, throwing the ball up for grabs. I disagree. I want to see how he... Look at tape of when fucking Dak Prescott is under pressure. He plays like dog shit. No, I'm telling you. He's I'm telling not. You. There's, but there's two sides I'm to this saying. story. MVP, yeah, I, you're, I, you're, I think you're, not. I, don't, I think not. I Carson think, Wentz, I not think ultimately MVP. Carson Wentz listen, has a higher ceiling than that. Listen, Dak all, I'm saying, all I'm saying is that Just, with, any, with anything else... Carson Carson Wentz Carson Wentz has to prove himself before yeah, anything else. Especially in Philly. Anything He's else, only played one year though. Especially in Philly. Yeah. Philly is. He'll be like, get the fuck out of here. Philly is a relentless ass city when it we, comes to their sports We win the Super Bowl we are. in three exactly. years with him we being are. a starting quarterback. Get him the fuck out of here. We are on the Wentz wagon. Listen. It's Wentz Delphia. Listen. Yeah. Carson Wentz yeah. Yeah. has what the happened, potential. What happened to all the other. Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly. He has Chip Kelly. Carson Wentz has the potential to make them better. It just all depends on who they can put around him. It's the organization. It's not the quarterback. The organization organization is the one that will fuck Carson Wentz if anything bad happens. You need to put pieces around your rookie quarterback, exactly. your young quarterback. Exactly. You need pieces, you need a defense, you need wide receivers, you need a solid number one target. Getting them a and solid, that's it. getting Carson Wentz a solid number one target. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> getting Carson Wentz a solid number one target is a big thing to his improvement. Exactly. No, that that was huge. You need to get a huge. run game. Yes, exactly. You need to get a run game. Because you cannot back. just throw. I think that's part of the reason. Well, yeah. Part of the reason no. last year. You well, they started the pressure off. Of you cannot deny. Line was obliterated. You cannot deny. So many fucking no, listen. Injuries. You cannot deny. Look me in the face and tell me that last year, halfway through the season, every time Carson Wentz got under pressure, he did not care who was down the field. How many he Eagles threw that you ball deep. How many Eagles he games did you watch? How many field. Eagles games did you I watch? Every, I live in Chester listen, Springs, dude. Listen, that I that watched, is their CBS. I watched all the games. I watched every, yes. I watched okay. every Eagles game. I watched every Eagles game. I have red zone, so I watched yeah. every single Eagles no, yes. game. He but saw okay. every pick he threw because they put it on red zone. Yeah, no, I saw I saw I saw the whole I saw the whole body. Listen to this. He made a lot of mistakes. He was a rookie playing with a fucking beat up offensive that. line, yeah. zero wide receivers, no, a shitty running back core, and yet he still listen, showed my, so listen, much My main point is this can, whole thing with the MVP just. Who the fuck oh, are you talking about with the MVP? Oh. Carson Wentz, oh, every, like Alshon Jeffrey, I said, don't even lie. Oh, you can oh. follow Devin no, on Twitter. You can follow Alshon, Twitter. He, Alshon he's, he's talking about that. Alshon Jeffrey fucking. Carson said, Wentz MVP. Yeah, and Carson Wentz said like that he just wants to win a Super Bowl because he doesn't care. And that's all Eagles fans we ranked, care about. We ranked... All right, this... I got another question. We ranked Tony Romo. We said no this doubt. This going to be like a fucking 20-minute long video. All right, this will be the last question. Last question. All right. we, we said earlier Tony Romo, no doubt, we all think he'd be a top 10 
quarterback in K Mac. Easily. Right now, not like don't Chargers. even don't even think about it. Just throw out a number. I'm gonna ask Devin first. Where would you rank Carson Wentz? Thirty two quarterbacks. Just the the, the thirty two starting quarterbacks. Potential or now? Right now. Where's twenty? Twenty. You'd have him at twenty. Twenty. Okay. Now what do you think potential? How many potential? Yeah, many Top potential? five. Top five. <laughs> Right. You wait and fucking see, Colin. Nick, you wait and see. Hear. What do you think he's right now? Listen, Carson Wentz was in the same situation that Derek Carr was in when he was a rookie. Yes, so, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. So he could get better as time goes on. But right now, I have him at like 21. You could say 21. You could say Derek what about Carr potential? achieved more with less, though. What do you got he with did. Yeah, Derek he Carr achieved achieved more with he less. Did. He did. What do you got with potential for Wentz? I don't know about less, Tension. dude. All right. Eagles had the worst wide receiver. The central, no, the say central. I do not see. 2021. I, I don't see. De- I don't see Carson Wentz top five. Listen, no, I don't what see do him see top him? five. Com- I see him. I see him as a top ten quarterback, and he can do <sighs> yeah, what he maybe yeah ten like yes easily. I think he easily can be a top right, ten quarterback. It depends on the franchise. If you want to, if you want to talk yeah. NFL right now, like think NFL right now, and then in two thousand twenty one. Carson Wentz probably be like a, but you don't know what's going Carson Wentz be now like a one. like an Eli Manning, Eli, yeah. Eli Manning, Manning type of quarterback. Super Bowl. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That's what yeah. that's I mean, what we're saying. That's, that's exactly what we're saying. Like he'll be a good quarterback, but you're not going to say Eli Manning's better than like Drew. Exactly. Brady. That's I'm exactly. Saying, like, that's top exactly. Top. You'll what say I Eli Manning is about like eight. I see him in that Eli Manning range. He's like respect. Like you play him, you respect him. No, you respect. He's like not going to be. You don't fucking hate on him. I don't think he's you're not going to be like. You're not going to ever be like, yo, like, I fucking fear I, that. I, I even understand Ben that. Roethlisberger, up until last year, no one even talked about Ben being the top five. Yeah, no, no, but the reason I that. think, dude, Wentz has the fucking work ethic and the drive. You don't hear about Eli Manning dude, being like, I'm if, but you're in the NFL, you, you got the work ethic and drive. I think Carson. I, mean, I think Wentz is. The, now he, he, I think he has something special. about But I didn't fucking think Folds was going to be fucking MVP caliber fucking. But the difference. I didn't think. All I'm saying is there's I think Wentz is different. That's all I'm saying. It is like that. It is. Like Dash Pass, you can let me, see wait, let me have one more thing. You see I potential. fucking wanted Wentz from the first day I saw him on Path to the Draft. Shout out to that show. That thing is fucking awesome. It's a fucking fantastic show. I fucking did not want Jared Goff. I didn't want shout any piece of network, him. Shout out ESPN. Jared Goff. <laughs> Jared Goff is not going to be a good quarterback. And I wanted Carson Wentz. I, I saw the potential in Wentz. It. It's I, I agree what you said. He yeah, doesn't exactly. have anyone around. Exactly. Yeah, but I just didn't think. He has no I chance. Just, dude, Jared Goff, I think, is going to be a bum. And I fucking think yeah. that listen, he was very overrated. Dude, listen, all I got to say he, is if you are a D1 quarterback going into the draft, it does not matter. If you go to a good team, you will be good. Yeah, if you go to a bad team, exactly. you will be bad. Take, take, that is how it works. Marcus Mariota on the Titans. The Titans are like... They're decent. Or but they're if you take Mar- Marcus Mariota off and then put him on like the Patriots, they'd be raw. Like, dude, exactly. they'd be raw. Right? Exactly. My, you, it all it depends, depends on the organization you get into. You set it up around. That's exactly what it yeah. is. I think D one D one college quarterbacks can play football. That is no question. Yeah. They can play football. If you're you a first it. round pick, you can play football. Unless right? you're Brandon Weaver. But it it depends. It, <laughs> <laughs> he was like 28 years in the NFL. Like he got his paycheck. That's, that's, that's about goddamn time. time. That's, <laughs> if, that's that's a different story, <laughs> homie. Like, but if you get put in a good position, if you get put in a good position on a good team, you will be a star quarterback. That's how it works. That's Wise. it. I Wise think we should. I, honestly, I genuinely think we is. should have this court. We should have the same yeah. video in six months from today. See where all the teams are. See what we think has happened with all these free agent signings with the draft. Well, see what's going on. Colin, we thank you all for tuning in today. And Colin, I just we want to thank, say we'd like to thank Nick for joining thank us. Thank you, Nick, for joining you us. Put it Colin, in Colin, Colin, great points. Sir. Colin, we like to have you here. I'd like to say a sincere come back. Come back. Just fuck you. Just to fuck you. All right. Well, this is for DST. Fuck you too.